Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And I hope you guys enjoyed our seven days of Christmas event. That was a ton of work, but so much fun. And I really enjoyed creating that series. Today, we're gonna be doing a little bonus video. I'm just gonna show you guys how I decorated my Christmas tree. Every year I go all out decorating my tree and this year was no exception. And I thought it would just be fun to take you guys through the process that I use to put my trees together. So I hope you guys enjoy this bonus video. I'm not gonna have any links or anything uh, for this video because uh, I got most of these at like Hobby Lobby and Walmart. <laughs> so I will show you guys where I got them. I just won't have links or discount codes for them, okay? So that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start by setting up our tree. I just got this tree from Walmart this year and it's my first flocked tree. I've always wanted a flocked tree and this one was absolutely beautiful. It was pretty affordable too compared to some of the other ones that I had looked at and it does rainbow lights and colored lights which was really fun. My least favorite part of setting up a tree is spreading out all the branches. However, I really do take my time on this step because to me, it's like with when you have a fake tree, the difference between a really pretty one and an okay one is when all the branches are like nicely fanned out and all of that. So that part takes me about a half hour <laughs> at least. Um, I also check to make sure all the lights are working well. Next, I start on the ribbon part. The ribbon is also a very time-consuming process for me. Usually my ribbon on my trees takes me close to an hour. I think this one was a little over an hour. But anyway, I start with this really wide four-inch ribbon. The wider the ribbon, the better. And with some floral wire, I cut a bunch of strips. You could also use like twist ties or something. That's probably easier. And then I cut the end of my ribbon into like a fishtail and bunch it up and attach it to the very top of the tree. And I just attach it with a floral wire just like that and twist it onto a branch that kind of makes sense up there at the top. And I'm going to count about like four branches down and tuck in another length of the ribbon there and attach it every four, in, every four or five branches down. And when I get kind of towards the middle, I'll start going a little further down before I attach it. And you just twist tie it on midway into the branch, if that makes sense. So it creates these little pockets of ribbon just like this and I think this is such a cozy and like farmhouse kind of look I don't know I just really love doing this with my ribbon and so I repeat the same process all the way around the tree I want to say I ended up doing six lengths of ribbon like this so you'll want to buy a really large spool of ribbon Hobby Lobby always has their Christmas ribbon at 50% off. So I think I ended up getting two rolls of this and it was plenty for my tree. After I get all those links down the side vertically like that, I am going to make some little bows. I love making coordinating bows with my, like, I don't know, the long ribbon accents. So I just create like a zigzag shape with my ribbon like that. So you, almost like a Z pattern with your ribbon. And then you're going to pinch in the middle of that little Z shape that you made so that you'll end up with two loops. And then you'll take your twist tie or your floral ribbon and secure it through the middle, making sure that your loops are even on both sides. Once you've got it secured in the middle like that, you'll just want to fluff up your loops and kind of start shaping your bow and pull down your tails as needed to create a really pretty and classic bow shape. And then I like to trim the ends of my bows with a fishtail cut. So you just, you know, fold your ribbon in half and cut it at an angle with some sharp scissors and 
there you go. It's super cute, super simple to do. You definitely want to do this with wired ribbon, both the four inch wide ribbon and this ribbon that I'm using for the bows is wired ribbon. It makes it super easy for everything. So once I've got that put together, I will put those on the tree and I kind of make them in a pattern so that they're all situated between those lengths of ribbon that I did down the side. So all the blank sections between each vertical section of ribbon, um, you know, is lined with bows. So that's partially why it took so long. I ended up putting like, I don't know, five bows in each section so it took forever <laughs> but once you're done with that uh, it's time to put in your accent sticks and your floral so i got these really pretty pearl ball things and frosted sticks from hobby lobby and this stuff was 50 percent off too and you're just gonna kind of randomly poke them into place up towards the top i think you can put these like all the way throughout the tree. I just really like to have that like focus of them up at the top. I think it's really beautiful. And I actually ended up putting some sprigs of fake lamb's ear in as well in the same way that I did this. I had these long sprigs of lamb's ear, which is that like furry sage uh, foliage. It was super pretty. I wish I would have gotten a picture of it, but I forgot. So anyway, I did that also. So once those sticks are in, then I start putting in my garland. Now I just got really small lengths of garland. I didn't get enough to go around the whole tree, but I really just wanted this garland to act as like some additional accent pieces through the tree. I didn't want there to be any kind of main focus on my garland pieces. So I just kind of got fun ones. They almost look more like ornaments than anything else. So these were like fuzzy balls and jingle bells. This one was like a kind of pokey, sparkly cut cotton ball thing. <laughs> I don't know. And I just kind of placed those throughout the tree. I don't secure them in any kind of way. Again, these are just gonna kind of act as little accent pieces through our whole design here. Next is the fun part where I start adding in all of my filler ornaments and my specialty ornaments. Now is also a good time to put in like your large floral items like any flowers or pine sprigs or like I said, let the lamb's ear sprigs or something just to add some filler. And um, this is kind of a cheap way to fill up your space throughout your tree because they're fairly inexpensive, especially if you get these on sale. And they take up a lot of room and just add so much depth. I love these. These are like a, a felt, I think some kind of felt poinsettia and they had glitter on them, super cute. Then these little ball picks. I thought these would just look kind of like ornaments. I wasn't too excited about them until I got them in the tree. And oh my God, they were so cute. These little ball picks. I'm going to get more of these next year. I didn't have a tree topper for this tree. So instead I use this glory to the newborn king ornament as my focus at the top. I thought that was so beautiful. I absolutely loved that little, I think it was supposed to be like a wreath accent centerpiece or something i don't know whatever and then i got these uh furry balls i got these at walmart these like they're really pretty it's like a tan fur i've got these also from hobby lobby that are like these wood bead wreath things kind of farmhousey kind of cute i liked them and then i got of course a ton of these white and black plaid ornaments. I got them in all different shapes and sizes. Those were kind of like my filler bulbs that I used throughout the whole tree. I, I love those. Um, and then at the very end, I put on my tree skirt and any kind of accent pieces that I want around the tree, like any kind of pictures I want to put up or whatever. And then once I've got all of that put together, we're totally done. Uh, only took me three hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the look of this tree. This is my favorite tree that I've ever done. I think it turned out so beautiful. 
And this really is like my dream Christmas tree. Uh, so that about covers it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to have some fun and show you guys how I love to decorate my Christmas trees. Let me know what you thought in the comments and Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.